Hello everybody and welcome back to Global Stream where we are heading up and coming right back down on Lua to continue to expand our Orion project which is a colony project for the for you who are new. A colony project that I started a while ago and this is an addition of a kind of a hotel to it which explains why we have a giant fairing around that rocket. I'm basically sending a fucking hotel to a different planet. A lot of Kerbals are gonna have a real fun time on top of four solid rocket boosters and five massive engines that are burning so much fuel in the same time. Either some of you are gonna be some of them are gonna be crushed down because of the G's, even though I don't think there were that many G's. Like about yeah, about two and a half G's of thrust rate ratio, but yeah. It's still enough for those Kerbal to experience a lot of fun. <laughs> and a few flips. We, we here in the Cross Star uh, Space Agency look for the comfort and of, the, of our passengers and also their having fun. Something like that. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about right now, but yeah. We are on our way to circularize, circularize around road, and you see in the background there is a new, there was a new uh, skybox. I deleted it because this thing looked fucking awful. Why it looked awful? I don't fucking know. It, it's way too bright. I mean, if it was just a lot, to be honest, a lot darker, it would have been fine, but now it just looks like fucking painting, it looks like something sci-fi, says me who is playing Beyond Home, which is basically a lot of shit thrown together. But yeah, just, it looks out of place, okay? It just looks out of place, I didn't like it at all. I don't know if I can change the brightness of it, if I can change it, that would have been quite a lot better, but I would return to the, or the original one anyways, which is, you're gonna see it in the later on in the video because apparently the game had some surprises for me so stay tuned to understand what they are if you want some mystery in the video so yeah we have orbited but while we're doing our injection burn make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that miss any new video launch which is happening every single tuesday so burning uh those five engines and here goes the second stage almost not yet. Yeah. We're burning those five engines to get to Lua. Actually, this rocket just has only two stages and a booster and four boosters. Which normally people use just to get off the ground because they don't add additional delta V, but I just use them to more efficiency because if they have enough uh, thrust rate ratio or just attack above 1.5 or about 2, I can just throttle down the main engines and burn less fuel and still go as fast. That's called good engineering and brain. You need to have that thing to play this game. Here I am just to saying some of my friends that don't, that dislike this game because they don't know how the fuck to play this, this fucking single thing I have it. So yeah. Two suns just sun rising above the horizon which is always looking beautiful always I can accept it that skybox is annoying the shit out of me it looks way too fucking bright I don't like it at all so yeah and here we are we have our encounter with Lua there we go apparently my brain is good for Thinking some shit out in Kerbal Space Program, but it's not good about thinking words. I can't talk, and yeah. Also, there are some weird supernova explosion looking like things in the way up in the distance. Which, to be fair, I wasn't used to, but still, even like that, they looked like some fucking planet's moons in the background. Which looked bad in my opinion, so yeah. I ran out of air again, talking way too much. But yeah. 
I don't know how many times I'm gonna say so yeah in this entire fucking video or in the entire longevity of the channel. I, so yeah, again, yeah, there we go. See, I should keep a count of them, but I'm way too lazy to do that. So <laughs> not gonna do that. It's, it takes way too much time for the littlest fucking detail that not a single life is gonna notice. Let's be honest. I mean, they're gonna notice it counting, but at the end, nobody's gonna give a single flying fuck how many of them were there. So, yeah. Again. <laughs> I'm just saying it again. Okay, we're trying to get an uh, encounter this time with. Okay, you see in the horizon, the atmosphere looks. popped, kind of? Because the background is bright and the atmosphere is bright and shit looks bright. It looks bad. I don't like it anyway. So yeah. And we're on our way to descend to our colony, which there's a surprise for you that what I have built there, because I can f I finally made Kerbal at KS6 and I finally get it to work. And it looks way better now, and it looks way more organized than before. Because there's a one thing that was bothering me so much in this uh, colony project. It was that everything looked like placed randomly, which I wasn't loving it at all. And I look at somebody else's uh, colonies, like Carnassa, and I'm like, why don't I have this stupid ass fucking creativity to do all of that? To be fair, he has a lot of more, a lot more mods than I do, and a lot more mods than my team can actually handle, because my RAM is basically crying for mercy, and as well as my disk, my hard disk, since I don't have an SSD, my hard disk is also just immediately crying. So yeah, that should happen. I tried to quick load. In case people like, nah, you're not gonna fucking do it, bitch. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna play some fucking Genshin Impact because fuck this shit. And I returned the next day to finish what I had started. So yeah, here's that me trying to figure out what the fuck. Okay, yeah, there we go. This is me returning to the original skybox that I started with, and it looks. Miles fucking better. Like, miles better. And yeah. Apparently, the quick load actually worked and loaded even though after the game crashed. Or before the game crashed. I don't know how that thing worked. But yeah, the quick load was there. Or the game, since it crashed, it just reverted to the latest save. Which was that quick load. But yeah. Finally, we were having some good time. And trying to come closer and closer. This time I was actually using the second stage to descend. I mean, not yet. Yeah. The parachutes were not working. These engines were not working either. I don't know if they had spool time. Even though in when I right clicked them, it didn't have any spool time on it. But the animation did have spool time, so I don't know what the fuck was going on. Even that even if they had a spool time, it was ridiculously fucking long. So long spool time. I don't fucking know how the thing works. So yeah. This time I sent I set the parachutes to deploy like 5,000 meters above the surface because a thousand meters is just not enough time to slow this thing down. So yeah, also you're gonna see a few improved uh, modules because one of the reason being I disliked how the other modules just looked off place there and also apparently some of the parts disappeared or updated so yeah new parts 
I just said it's bad. See, there were three before. Now there's six of them. And later I added a uh, seventh one. And I added one more of these modules. And I didn't record them because I already have the same video. So it's gonna be a boring piece of shit. So it was basically the same thing. Land thing somewhere and then move it with mess vessel maneuver to the place. So yeah, here we, are. we have a launch pad and we have a actual place to put the entire colony. It looks small in first glance, but then later on I just realized that that's a pretty big place for small modules. So yeah, here they are, the six modules, and then I added a fifth one which you can see in this image. And just there in the background you can see the second added uh, hotel. So yeah. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Punch like and that punch subscribe if you're new. And as always, I hope six week until then. Have an awesome week.